Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about normals. In Gravity Sketch, when you go to export your file in either the OBJ format or FBX format, you can choose if the exported geometry has double sided normals, single sided normals, or welded normals, also known as welded vertices. We're going to talk about what all of this means, the differences between each setting, and how you can effectively use them in your workflow. To do this, we're going to use Blender. So here we are in Blender. Let's start by defining what normals are. I've created a simple polygon to demonstrate normals. Basically, normals refer to the visible side of a face, or the side of a face that reflects light and is thus visible. In computer graphics, it is assumed that you cannot see both sides of a face at the same time, so only one side will be rendered. In other words, only one side is visible at any given time. If we orbit around this polygon, we can see that is indeed the case. As we orbit around, it just kind of disappears into space. If we orbit back, we can see the face. If we go into edit mode, we can see the normal's direction, indicated by the small blue line in the middle of the face. The normal direction is always perpendicular to the face. So, as you can see here, the blue line is perpendicular to the face and indicates what direction the normal is facing or what side of the face will be visible. The vertices of a polygon also have normals, and they should face the same direction as the normals of the face. If they don't, this can cause some unexpected results. If we look at the vertices of this polygon, you can see the normals indicated by the pink lines. This is important to keep in mind when we talk about welded vertices. Over here, I have another polygon made up of four faces. Three of the faces have the normals facing in the same direction. One of the faces has the normal facing in the opposite direction. So seen from one side, the shape looks like an L. And if we orbit around, the other side looks as if there is only one polygon. Both of these surfaces have what would be considered single-sided normals, as you can only see a single side at any time. Or put another way, when we show the normals, indicated by the blue lines, they only face in one direction. This is the same reason why when you import an OBJ file into Gravity Sketch, you will be able to see one side of the model, but it'll appear that the other side is invisible or transparent. Basically, the OBJ has single-sided normals. If you convert the model to sub-D, Gravity Sketch will automatically simulate surfaces that can be seen from both sides. If we come over here, I've exported the same model three times with a double-sided normal setting, single-sided normal setting, and the welded vertex or welded normal setting. While Blender will automatically simulate double-sided normals on surfaces that have single-sided normals, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've turned off that setting by checking the backface culling in the material properties for the model. Let's quickly take a look at the geometry I've created. I've used a sphere shape, a cube, a simple subdivided surface, and a more complex subdivided surface. The cube and sphere are closed shapes, while the surfaces are open shapes which will be good for demonstration purposes. So, double-sided normals. If we orbit around the two surfaces, you can see that they are visible from both sides. If we go into edit mode, we can see the normals face both directions. Basically, we have blue lines coming out of both sides of the surface. This means that no matter what angle you view the surface from, it'll always be visible. The way this is achieved is essentially a duplicate surface is created and sits in the same location as the original surface, but has the normals inverted. If we go to the cube, we can actually see how this is achieved. If we go into the wireframe, we can see the normals facing both directions. The black dot in the middle of the blue lines indicates where the faces are. If we click on a face and then delete the face, you can see that one of the normals will disappear. Basically, the duplicate face was deleted. If we go to the render preview, we can still see the face with the outward facing normal but viewed from the other side, we can see where the duplicate face was deleted. In addition to that, if we move the vertices, we can see that there are indeed two surfaces in the same location. So double-sided normals essentially duplicate the geometry and then flip the normals. 
This is good for rendering and it creates a reliable experience, but also results in larger file sizes and more demand on the computer. Let's now take a look at single-sided normals. If we orbit around the surfaces, you can see that they are visible from one side, but disappear when you orbit around them. If we turn on their normals, we can see that they are only facing in one direction. For the sphere, on the other hand, we can see it no matter what angle we view it from. This is because all of the polygon normals are facing outward. Similarly, the cube, when viewed from this angle, is fully visible. However, I inverted the normal direction on this face, and if we orbit around, the cube has essentially become invisible. If we select the cube, orbit around, and then view the normals, we can see that the normals on this face are facing inwards, which is why, when viewed from this angle, it seems as if the cube is invisible. Single-sided normals keep things simple. There is no duplicate geometry to deal with, file sizes are lighter, and there is less compute power required. But during the export process, normals can be flipped or face the wrong direction, and thus, when importing into other software, you may sometimes have to manually fix the normals. You also have the issue of not being able to see the other side of a model, which can be problematic. And now for welded normals, or in other terms, welded vertices. The welded setting in Gravity Sketch is more about the vertices than about the actual face normals. Remember when I mentioned that the vertices have normals too? Well, that's about to come into play here. If we take a look at the cube in the single-sided normals model, for example, and we look at the vertices, we can see that each vertex has a red normal line emanating from the vertices. Basically, there are three normal directions here. Essentially, what we are looking at is three separate vertices that are snapped to the same point. Basically, this cube is made up of six individual surfaces that are snapped together. If we select a vertex, first notice the area of influence this vertex has. You can see it here in orange. If we move this vertex, it will only affect the area in orange. Notice how it will only affect the area on one of the three planes. If I click on each vertex and move them, you can see that all three vertex normals move with the vertices and remain perpendicular to the angle of the face. Now let's come over to the model that was exported with the welded setting. First, note that the shading on the sphere and cube look a bit odd. This is because of the way the normals are reflecting light. If you look at the same corner on the cube, we can see that there is only one vertex normal, where there used to be three. As you can see, the direction of the vertex normal is an average of the adjacent planes, so in this case the normal is coming out at an angle. In addition, if we select the vertex, you can see that the area of influence of that vertex, indicated in orange, will now affect all three surfaces. If I move the vertex, all three surfaces are modified. What happened during the export process is that the vertices were welded together. Unlike the cube in the single-sided model that is made up of six individual surfaces, and thus moving a vertex only affects the corner of one surface at a time, this model has had all of the vertices welded together. Because of that, each vertex only has one normal and has influence on multiple surfaces. The welded option is good for creating watertight geometry, which is good for 3D printing. It is also good for UV unwrapping. In addition, due to the collapsed vertices, the geometry can be easier to edit as you won't have multiple overlapping faces or vertices and won't be able to create small gaps between surfaces. So there we have it. Hopefully this video helped to answer the question of what options to use when it comes to double-sided single-sided or welded when exporting an OBJ or FBX from Gravity Sketch. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's all for now, and see you next time.